Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Now, the Owls have lost Deron Carter to the NFL, but don't worry, they've managed to hang on to another star receiver, S.J. Green. He recently visited our studios to discuss his new contract and what lies ahead for him as an Alouette. Well, cue the human highlight film, S.J. Green. You see the numbers, 58 catches, 10 touchdowns, many of those of the spectacular variety. He's a quarterback's best friend. In his eight-year career with the Alouettes, S.J. Green has made many sensational catches, but no catch was more spectacular than the one he made in the Alouettes' 2010 season opener. I had just scored a touchdown the play before. I believe it was the same, we called the same play back-to-back -back that game, that play. Ended up spinning a full circle, and um, AC just threw the ball, and I saw it. I just laid it out and just stuck my hand out there and just heard the guy that I catch it. it oh, oh, what a catch! How did he oh catch my. that? That is the catch of the year right now. I love that moment. Like, there's nothing like it to me. You know, it comes in slow motion. I don't hear anything until I catch it now, and then it just speeds back up again. It doesn't get better than that. The Alouettes are expecting more acrobatic catches from SJ Green this season. After a tense winter of negotiations, the club and Green have agreed to a new three-year deal that will reportedly make him the highest paid receiver in the CFL. What makes the deal even more impressive, however, is the fact that Green negotiated it for himself without the services of an agent. I've had an agent my first two years in the CFL, but um, you know, did away with that a couple of years back. And um, I worked with Pop one-on-one, -on -one, um, renegotiating and then signing extensions. But, um, and negotiating my own deal was different. It was a, it was a learning experience for me, and um, I got I got an opportunity to appreciate Jim Pop for who he really is. You know, he's a great GM. He's good at what he does, and um, there's a reason why he's in the position that he's in. While Green resigned with the Alouettes, others have moved on. Most notably, Deron Carter, who led the Alouettes last year in receiving yards and touchdowns. To fill the void, the team acquired former CFL All Star Fred Stamps. Talent-wise, you know, some guys are overrated, and um, some may think I am too. You know, that's just how the game goes. But uh, there's only a handful of guys that I, I, I truly respect uh, on that level that I think are, are difference makers in this league. Fred's a, a, a Hall of Fame receiver in the making. He's one of the guys that I would I, we, I talked about with Jay Rich back in the day of guys that I would like to play with. You know, after he departed, you know, and um, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to playing with him and making making magic with him, and um, hopefully bringing another great cup back here to Montreal. At only 29 years old, Green himself may one day be in the Hall of Fame. But according to him, the pantheon of the sport isn't his main motivator. I would have to say my wife and my kids are my inspiration. You know, they've been my biggest supporters since I've, since I've been playing football up here in Montreal. I don't know where I'd be without those, those three. You know, I, they're the reason why I do what I do. Um, they're, the, they're the reason I make the sacrifices I make. and. Um, they're the reason why I, uh, I strive to be the best because I want to set the, the, a, an example for them. Last year, the Owls rallied from a terrible 1-7 and seven start to finish just short of the Grey Cup. Green says that experience brought the team closer together and has them ready for a shot at redemption. Unbelievable relationship with the guys I have in that locker room. Um, and I think that played a big part of our success, you know, surging late in the season last year how close of a group that we are. And um, that also played a big part in me coming back. Um, it's hard to walk away from those guys. I feel like I was turning my back on them if I was to leave. Now that Green will call Montreal home for at least another three seasons, he'll have many more opportunities for sensational catches and hopefully carry the Owls to the Grey Cup.